everybody. Welcome to Medley World. As you can see here, scan that if you want to get your virtual queue. We're on our way to pick up our annual pass magnets because we did utilize the virtual queue right here at Disney Springs. So come on in, check it out. So as we head over, I'll just give you a quick little summary of how you get this done so that you can pick up your annual pass magnet if you're down here at Disney World Orlando. Um, works really great, it's a virtual queue. And we're lucky enough that we live close enough that we got to, to do it right at our house. So uh, it was about noon time or so, I think, maybe a little bit after 12. And I joined the virtual queue and it said 220 minutes. So that's like three and a half hours, I think, quickly in my head. It went a lot faster than that by two o'clock, 2.15, actually 2.19, because you get one hour after your group is called. So that's another important thing. The old system with the virtual queues, you could go any time after your group was called. For the magnet, you get a one hour window after your group is called. So it was 220 minutes and those minutes kept going very quickly. The queue was a lot faster than what it says. So give yourself about half the time. So we kind of in a rush. That's why I'm talking so fast, guys, because I want to show you exactly where you pick it up and what it looks like. We're walking over, guys. I have never noticed this awesome board right here, right in front of the Ghirardelli chocolate area. This is nice. Brand new digital board. And it was just, I had a display right before I got there about the annual passes. Uh, I said, welcome pass holders. So everybody's down here trying to get their magnets. And you can see it's still early in the day. Almost three, quite a crowd. Ah, it smells so good right here by Ghirardelli. Mm. So we're gonna get our annual pass magnet. Probably have a snack, I would assume. And maybe we'll check out some merch while we're here at Disney Springs. Just to kind of give you some logistics, guys. Days of Christmas there. Rainforest Cafe to the left. So they have a nice uh, signage here for everybody. So you're gonna come actually right over here to the wonderful world of memories, which is to the right side. Magnet distribution. Right here is where the virtual line starts. So far, very easy. As you can see here, guys, when you come up, they scan your annual pass. And it's just a small queue, pretty much moving right along. I assume we'll probably get in there within one minute. So this looks like it's fairly easy, guys, so far. Ah, oh, that was very easy, very smooth, guys. So if you are coming down to get your magnet, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. I know you're like, well, Matt, just be quiet. Just show us the magnet already, which Jake will show. Let's go right over here, guys. I gotta find a nice spot to show you the magnet. It's so bright out here. Let's uh, go right here. How about here? Guys, are you ready to see the magnet? What you've all been waiting for. Jake. Wow, look at that. And Jake, can we get some, it is a little sparkly on the side with Mickey and Minnie holding and hands. And I'm sure you could like pop these things yeah, out. Oh yeah, and you're yeah, right. Yeah, you can pop them out. Put it on your car, your refrigerator. So cool guys, and there it is. Sparkly. Roberta loves it because it's sparkly. <laughs> we'll try to show you again in a little while out here in the sun. See if we get a right sparkly. Oh, here we go, let's see. Oh yes. I think you guys can see that a little bit better. And it is, remember, it's not just one per family, it's one per pass holder. So we were lucky enough, we got three of them. So definitely will, yeah, yeah, definitely. I know I didn't mention, but just again, just in case, right to the right side of Rainforest Cafe. All right, what do you guys think? Should we go check out some merch and have a snack? Let's go. Well, we're not gonna do a full merch tour in here, but Jake loves coming into Basin, as long as all of us really do, because they have all these awesome soaps, guys. And if you saw our previous couple of vlogs ago, when we did a review at the Flower and Garden at Epcot, they have a little pop-up Basin store for the festival that has bath salts and bath bombs and soaps. So guys, check out that vlog, but here it is at Disney Springs. Ooh, look at these. So cool. And these 
these look like the exploding bath bombs. I don't know if they're exploding. Three for 14. Ah, it smells so good in here. Let's go look at some more merch. Ah, I hope you enjoyed that little pit stop in Basin. Ah, I feel so refreshed after being in that store washing my hands. Hey, you know what? If anything, if you're down here and you just want to wash your hands, go in Basin. Ah, but guys, now we got to go check out World of Disney. This is really the merch I know you all wanted to see. Let's see if they have anything new for the seasonal or something I haven't really noticed yet. Let's head on in and check it out. Just again, want to show you a little logistics. If you enter the World of Disney to the left of Starbucks and you go in those doors, you're gonna come right straight to the 50th merchandise. If you come into the right of Starbucks, right in these doors here where Jake and Roberta are going in, this is more the seasonal things. So this is really where we want to go and see if they have anything cool. And as we're entering in, guys, I always like to show you as we enter in, Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you're enjoying our vlog today. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. We love our subs. Here you guys can see this. It's like a Good Times collection here. Nice sweatshirt here with Minnie and Daisy Duck. Let's see if we can get a price on that. I don't see a price. I'll have to try to find out on the sweatshirt for you guys. But they also have this cool hat. Oh, some classic. Uh, we got Pluto, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. The hat is $30. It's got kind of a distressed look, which I like. Adjustable in the back. Also, the Good Time sweatpants. Life is better together. All the classic Disney characters going down on the leg there. Just some casual sweatpants, $45 for those. Let's see if we can find a price. I don't see any prices here on the sweatshirts, on the hoodies here, guys. Huh, strange. Sorry, I can't get your price on that. As we're moving around, though, look at that. That is so cool. It's in the wrong place, but still nice. And a couple more shirts here, guys. You know how much the shirts are? should all be right around $36.99. $36? And I couldn't find a price on the sweatshirt, on the hoodie. $36 for those two shirts. The hoodie I couldn't find. Oh, sorry. $64.99. $64.99, guys. So this is a cool collection here. And thank you very much for your help. Josette, awesome cast member here at the World of Disney. Oh, and here we go, guys. Oh, I love the Big Bad Wolf. Look at that. That is so cool. Again, probably the same price as the other ones. $37. All $37. Let's go ahead and make sure. Yes, $37. That's a cool collection. We got a Mickey hat here. It's a Nike, actually. Nike hat. Check that out. Adjustable in the back. Very light, too. $40. Wow. There you have it. Some more sweatpants here. Let's keep moving on. Let's see if we find anything else that's pretty cool. This is a really nice collection, by the way. Up some new. I haven't seen this in a while, guys. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Just a little 50th purse. And $25. It's not a lounge fly, but it's pretty cool. I got a feeling these are gonna go real quick here. This shirt looks like it's new too. And Roberta's saying she hasn't seen these. That's really nice. What do we got on the shirt, Roberta? 45. 45 for the shirt. And how about this one? This one looks like a lower, uh, a high-rise kind of cut shirt. 45. 45 for the shirts. Wow. That is gonna go real quick. That's a perfect little bag for like if you're coming in the summertime and you don't need to bring a sweatshirt with you. That is an awesome thing to carry your stuff. And let's see, I see another cool bag actually right here, guys. I wanna show you this. One second. Roberta's reminded me that we did see this one before, but I don't remember. Maybe when it first came out, this is a pretty cool looking little bag as well. Only a few left, guys. I got another feeling these will go really quickly. Nice pocket on the inside. Another small pocket here. 
Not and a lot of room. Perfect small bag. And what I love is this goes over the top like that with the 50th. All the classic. Oh, it's got figment on there, Roberta. Look at that. So cool. And it is a backpack. One and drink. what do we got for the price on that, Roberta? $30. $30. Now, I will say, not too bad. Especially if you have the annual pass with a discount. And Roberta's found us a nice mug. Oh, that's a nice mug. I love that mug. It kind of has like the indentation on it. How much yeah. is a mug, Roberta? 15. 15? Yeah. Not too bad for the mug. And there you go, guys. Here's a quick merch update for you uh, from the world of Disney. But I'm getting hungry. I think it's time for a snack. Let's go find some. I don't even know what we're going to have, but we will definitely find one. Hello, Lego uh, dragon. That Lego dragon has been in here for a very long time. Matter of fact, Roberta was telling me when she came back in the 90s, uh, that dragon was in here at Disney Springs. Back then it was called Downtown Disney. So the dragon has been here for a while. We're trying to decide on a snack and there are a lot of long lines at some of these smaller uh, snack spots. So I don't know, we're thinking maybe try something we haven't tried in a while or maybe ever. Let's see where we end up. I think you guys can see where we want to try it. Let's see how the line is. We have not tried it yet. The Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew. We've just never had the opportunity to try it. So we figured, hey, let's have a chance today. And you can see it's right across from Splitsville Bowling Alley, right here on the left. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I heard it's really good though. Pretty cool as you walk in, guys. Got the menus up here. So 475 for classic donuts. I'm not ready yet either, guys. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's ready to order, but you guys can see all the cool donuts. Really nice. And they have like coffees, cold brews, all kinds of cool stuff. And they even have some sandwiches up there. It's a classic cold brew. Let me see if I can get the scanner. Aha, hang on, I'll be right back. Go ahead guys, if you wanna see the full menu, go ahead and scan that code right there, and you can get it all. Ah, so we are sitting, oh, hang on guys. Ray bands need to go on. It's cool, cause there is a little bit of seating inside, but out here you can see it's got some nice grass. And we're sitting outside, we ha got a Awesome looking cold brew here. It's a, it's a, what is it, Roberta? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream cold brew. We got a couple donuts. We got a strawberry classic donut with sprinkles. And we got a peanut butter donut. We're gonna show them all to you guys. Also, they take the annual pass discount here of 10%. We're gonna get everything out and we're gonna try it all for you right now. And I know you can't wait for Jake to give us his ratings. He's the best. Out of all three of us, I think, with the ratings. Okay. Are you kidding me with this? Feast your eyes on that. That is the peanut butter. The peanut butter donut. Look at that thing. Wow. And here is the strawberry with sprinkles. Oh, gosh. I can't wait. Guys, look at these things. They look amazing. Let's just keep it rolling. Jake's going to get right in on it. Get a nice bite there, Jake. Give us an awesome... Well, your rating on this. You can put it down in there if you want while you're waiting. Tastes pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love well. it. I see the eyes are telling me that I think he really likes it. I don't even think we need a rating. Jake, do you, you want to give us a 1, 2, 8, 10? Or what do you think? Give it a decent 8. At I least an 8? Yeah. Wow, let me try the cold brew first thing. Cookies and cream cold brew, guys. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It, it feels like I am drinking cookies and cream. That's what it, I mean, that's the way I'm gonna describe it. It feels like you took a cookie like a, an Oreo type cookie and you drank it. I don't even, it, it's so sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't have this too much of this stuff. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. 
that this right here guys roberta i'm giving this a nine yeah it's fine very creamy very creamy that's amazing i think that in itself would be fine for me <laughs> but we got more let's try this peanut butter donut next okay look at this thing roberta it's, it's got the peanut butter chocolate chips it's got chocolate it's got a glazed donut and it's got reese's cups on it we didn't even get to the reese's cups but roberta i got it i'm dying to know what you think so just just the donut itself what do you think roberta i know you're processing it i love to keep this camera rolling for you guys on our reaction ratings of food it is good it's good I like peanut butter yeah <laughs> it's good it's peanut buttery yeah what do you got roberta uh, i would say it's a strong eight and a half nine wow it's so good guys high ratings here at glazed and i think i know why it's called glazed i've just noticed all the donuts are actually glazed donuts maybe that's why so i think they're all kind of start as a glazed donut for bird and jake and then they add all the different toppings on it uh jake's just speechless guys i hope you're enjoying this guys i hope you enjoyed our vlog today we're gonna go ahead and finish eating our snacks thank you so much for watching please take a moment subscribe to meddling world and last but not least, see ya!